What's going on out there, American truckers? Uh, I broke a little bit of a sweat. Just finished installing this TV. About 3 o'clock in the morning, I couldn't sleep. So I went ahead and installed the TV. I've done this in several Freightliner Cascadias. Doesn't cause any damage to the truck. I'm going to go over step by step with y'all what, what to do and how to do it. Some of y'all may already do something similar to this. The, there's several different brackets it works on. I'm going to show y'all the one that I use. And uh, like I said, this doesn't cause any damage to the truck. But anyway, hope all of y'all are staying safe out there, staying out of trouble, keeping it together. Let's get into this. Alright American truckers, I'm going to show you how to mount this 32 inch Vizio TV. If you're going to use a wall hanger like that without doing any damage, excuse the bed, it's not made, without doing any damage to the truck. Alright, see these little screws? I'm going to use the holes that are already there and I'm going to mount this wall hanger to it. I'm going to take them screws out, pull that piece off set it to the side because if I ever change trucks I'll need to put it back on this don't damage the truck in any kind of way and it's using the existing holes and I'm gonna mount this uh, this this mount up there now to hold bigger than a 32 32 is just what I got all right see y'all in a minute all right American truckers this is what you got so I get this up here this is what you got when you take that piece off. Now this doesn't damage the truck. All I did was take the screws out and remove that piece. Uh, by the way, it takes a T20 Torx, Torx head that's like a star wrench. Uh, you want to make sure you have the right one because the head of these screws are real easy to strip out. And then you'll never get it out of there or be able to put it back in. Now when I change trucks, I'll put this all right back in. Nobody ever even knows it was out. But uh, anyway, uh, you might if you're asking why I took this off, it's because these screws are not long enough to mount to the outside of this. So I take it off to give me a little bit more room so that when I put this on there, I can get those screws to, uh, to hold so they can get in their holes. All right, I'll be back in a minute. <clears throat> all right American truckers now that's how to go on now you can you can adjust that and move it either way you want now I've got it snug I don't have it real tight I could go in tighter but it'll hold where it's at now you'll see how it's got the arrows pointing up you want those up so that whenever you do your TV and set it up there it hangs um, also this one here the TV will slide back and forth so you get it where you want it and then I use bungee straps and I strap them down to the handle back there to hold the TV in place. Um, this one here has got a leveler on it. It's hard for me to use that leveler where I'm parked at. But uh, that's pretty close. Looks like I need to come up just a hair on this end. But uh, that's pretty close. And actually the leveler says this end is too high. But judging by that line above it. I need to come up just a hair. Anyway, got my headlight headlamp on. Uh, this thing comes in handy out here on the road. But hopefully you can see a little better what I'm talking about. Now I'll take the other two screws and put them in the bottom and screw them all the way in. That way I don't lose them. And I'll take that and put it up. And uh, then when I change trucks, of course I'll take that off. I'll take that and put it back in there. All right. See y'all in a minute. All right, welcome back. Now, as you can see, I got the mounts that they go to the wall hanger that go to the back of the TV. Now, you can adjust these however you want to adjust them, however high or low you want the TV. But you want the holes to match up. See there how I got it? You want these strings coming out the bottom because those are what you pull that pull this bottom latch down so that it clips to that deal so you want them strings out the bottom easy to put on and easy to take off now I'll put a couple you know I'll put the screws in to mount this on there and then we'll be back for the next part 
All right, American Truckers, that's the finished product. I just got to cl clean the uh, smudge prints off from me hanging the TV. Uh, I actually brought that pe those two pieces in the back down. Uh, the handle that opens and closes that window is right in between them. So it holds the TV in place so the TV won't slide off either direction. You can only go an inch or so back and forth. But uh, that'll keep my TV from becoming a projectile if, God forbid, I ever have an accident. It's securely mounted. Doesn't damage the truck at all. And uh, you can actually move this with you from Freightliner to Freightliner. Um, one quick note. If you don't have the vent, if you have a window instead, you can still do it. It's actually easier. Because with the window, the screws all have their own washers. So I actually had to use washers that come with this for... Uh, for doing that the TV and the mount but anyway it's a 32 inch Vizio and as you can see there's plenty of room and I actually could move this thing over a little bit and probably put you know another another size or two bigger in there 36 for sure would fit you know and uh, of course I got a Bluetooth speaker that'll go over here and uh, I'll do some routing with my wires don't make fun of me y'all know I was an electrician for 10 years so right now my wires are not ran out of the way and hidden they will be when i get done but i hope this helps some of you out there that's a finished product there you go y'all stay safe be kind to each other and keep trucking <laughs>